I mean, stable coins are, are very topical because we see whether it's the German regulators, French regulators, all speaking about the topic. But it's not exactly a new thing. Um, we've had these for a number of years now. There's been a lot of initiatives. Um, I think Tether being one of the old, oldest uh, in the space. Um, and we've seen any number of uh, US firms launching these things, international firms. But I think it wasn't, I think they were largely ignored as, as experiments, let's say, basically in the crypto space. It wasn't really until Facebook, which has basically a global community, a, a community larger than any single country, that um, regulators and uh, central banks stood up and realized they need to pay attention to this. This is potentially a more powerful uh, community, basically, that could be using this this new, new currency, and they don't fully understand what the implications are, how it'll work, and uh, how they'll be left. I mean, I think, given the underlying currency, I don't think it's as much a threat as they think, at least not initially. Um, but uh, it's definitely something that I think has caught the market a bit unaware. I, I think to a large extent the interest can be justified by um, waking up to a new reality and understanding that uh, there is a challenger to the status quo um, mm -hmm. that have distribution already. I mean, it, it boils down to the eternal question, are the incumbents uh, going to get the innovation before the challengers get the distribution? And mm -hmm. what's interesting here is that Facebook, uh, the, the quoted example, um, Facebook already has 2.7 billion uh, of people uh, or active users as distribution. So all of a sudden, this challenger becomes systemic uh, towards the environment uh, of monetary, uh, global monetary system. So <clears throat> historically, I don't think that the entire crypto market combined had neither the, the depth of liquidity uh, nor uh, the collective exposure uh, towards the current financial system to allow outflow or capital outflows and uh, the potential to create uh, a parallel monetary system. But this is no longer the case. Uh, we see that um, the cryptocurrency market, uh, stable coins market, um, are growing steadily, um, oftentimes double digits. So year on year, um, they become more prominent players into how central authorities, monetary um, authorities uh, exercise their monetary policy and keep markets stable. So before uh, one of them stable coins becomes systemic towards the system, um, I think that they are uh, very much proactive in taking a stance in advance before that becomes actually a problem. Mm -hmm.